All right, so for eight years, I'm in the mortgage industry, introducing myself to mortgage brokers, some of the local regional banks, trying to get a relationship with them. And that went really well. Within a year, I was running one of the largest territories in the country, and all of a sudden, I was at a different income bracket. And that was 2007. It was more like a train crash than a car crash. You just watch this huge machine slowly come to a stop. So for those of us in it, you got a couple of months to get your head around the fact that everything's about to shift. Dad died the year before. And so, uh, man, all I was thinking every day was I wanna call my dad. It was the first time I was dealing with um, this level of crisis and not having that one thing that I've always been able to do. I've got two small kids at the time. I'm the financial provider for the family and I don't have a job or an industry. Terrifying. What I was uh, really aware of is, man, I worked so hard to build that and it's just gone. So if I gotta reinvent myself, I'm gonna pick an industry and a company where I can build something that I can keep. And that's what brought me to Heartland. I was surprised by Heartland. I got to learn about this comp plan that was literally exactly what I was trying to, to go after. I knew I wanted to stay in sales, specifically the relationship manager role. We're out working with local business owners to help reduce the frustration that they might be experiencing currently with one of our competitors. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna kill this thing. It just did not go at all like I thought it was going to go. Part of it was I came into this job with an overinflated sense of my own abilities. It was a new skill set, and I didn't realize it. And I had this whole list of all the reasons. It's just too competitive, and merchants are getting too many calls, and so that's why I'm failing. Unfortunately, I think it just took me 15 months to get humble enough to realize that I need help. I get an opportunity to listen to a sales coach. As he went down the list of all of the things that struggling sales reps do, it was as if he was reading my mail. I was doing all of these things. It was me. I was the guy that had to get out of the way. There's this light bulb moment. I got real honest and said, you know, we do have a lot of competitors, that's a thing, but we really have no competitors. Nobody is approaching this industry with the care and the focus and the level of quality that we bring. 30 days later, I doubled my sales and all of a sudden the momentum was there. All of a sudden the income was there and I'm watching this residual grow month over month over month. That is incredibly powerful and that is why people stick. One of the things that this career affords you is the ability to just be balanced. What do I want to do with my day? What is the best way to invest in, in me? It's just been incredible and it's been life-changing and it's been a huge gift for my family and for me.